So there were primary elections in Texas, and I want to talk about a couple of them. I'm going to watch this little video here uh, that the Justice Democrats uh, put out. Uh, the two primaries to watch in Texas were one with Jessica Cisneros and Greg Kassar. Uh, Greg has apparently won the primary, and the uh, race with Jessica Cisneros is going to a runoff. So um, Justice Democrats put out this little uh, video here that shows uh, the success of Greg and as well, uh, you know, with the importance that we continue to support Jessica Cisneros into this runoff election. Uh, and I want to play this uh, because it's cool and it's inspiring. So let's watch. We are underdogs. And yet every day, no matter what challenge we face, we overcome the odds. Politics in South Texas is heating up, y'all. Jessica Cisneros is bringing all the smoke for the second time. We're going to come back and finish what we started. That was like, just on the editing team, that was like really loud compared to like, every. that was like, like several decibels louder than the music and then all the other speaking. I'm just saying on the editing side. That We're going to come back and finish what we started. We're going to win. Greg Kassar is kicking off his campaign. I'm the progressive leader with the background to actually directly represent and fight for people that get left out and then to actually deliver real results. This campaign shows what happens when you do invest in the talent that is here and that we rise up to the challenge and we obviously punch above our weight. She's backed by Justice Democrats. Tell us about Justice Democrats. The organization, Justice Democrats, why we're all here today, actually. To me, being a Justice Democrat is about being accountable to our people. What's up, Greg? What's up, Jessica? I'm super excited, super inspired by both of you. This state is going to change the future. talk about what AOC said there. There was actually a recent statement, I believe by the Texas Attorney General, that said that if they hadn't enacted voter laws um, in 2020 to suppress the vote, that Texas would have already been blue from uh, absentee ballots. Now, again, it's impossible to really know that, but uh, that's interesting. They're basically admitting that Texas is already a blue state, but they're... Uh, voter suppression is what's keeping it in Republican control, so that's interesting. So there you go, folks. Um, I recommend, you know, donating to Jessica's campaign if, if that's an option for you. Um, and uh, I don't know when the runoff is. I was hearing that if there was a runoff, it would be in May. So I'll probably continue to cover this. Uh, runoff elections typically get less turnout, you know, but whatever. What are you going to do? Um, and uh, there you go. So that's uh, that's the situation with the Texas primary. Uh, one uh, round of good news and the other uh, news is that it could theoretically be good news. Uh, in fact, let me get you the actual results uh, for Texas 28. Um Let's see. Did Cisneros win the plurality or no? Okay, so for a runoff, uh, for a runoff, uh, it means that no one reaches 50%, right? And uh, so Henry Cuellar got 48%. Jessica Cisneros got about 47%. But the important part is that no one hit 50. So that means there's going to be a runoff. Um, and so, again, uh, Jessica Cisneros needs to win. It's very close. Um, it's very close. But, uh, Henry Quay are getting more votes, uh, you know, before the runoff. You know, it's just, it's got to motivate the base. That's, that's the thing is you got to motivate the base with that. People need to look at that and they got to go like, oh, fuck, almost won. So let's get a couple people that didn't vote in the primary to vote in this one. Um. And so, again, you know, there you go. That's that's all I got. Good news, but we got to keep going in that one. And uh, I don't know much about uh, the 35th uh, District um, with G Mr. Greg Kassar. I don't know, like, going into the general, I don't know 
Uh, like what the district is um, in that. So I'm, I'm going to study on that one a little bit before we cover that again. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That's your news. That's it. That's the scoop. And we're going to move on.